This is uh, the Dallas Bar Association's 38th year of doing pro bono, and it is absolutely the thing that we are most proud of in terms of all the things that we do. My name's Robert Toby. I'm proud and honored to be the president of the Dallas Bar Association here in 2020. And uh, this will be a fun program because we get to hand out a lot of cool hardware to some to some folks who have been very deserving and put forward a lot of effort this year to make the lives of the citizens of Dallas County a lot better. And this, uh, this will be, it's a, it's a group effort. So when we only recognize some people, that doesn't mean others aren't responsible for the good things that are done. And uh, just know that your efforts are appreciated, whether they're recognized with an award or they're not. And we need your help the rest of 2020 and into 2021, because we all know the conditions that are here uh, today and we don't know when they're going to end, but, you know, my hope is in some point in 2021, we return to some more form of a normal situation than we have right now. So with that, um, if you're a lawyer, if you're a paralegal, a judge, a court reporter, a legal secretary, a law student, Thank you for what you've done, because it's not just the lawyers, it's all these other groups that we've mentioned that uh, contribute so much to the pro bono efforts that we do uh, on a daily basis. And let me give you a number. From June 1 of 2019 to May 31 of 2020, our volunteers have donated 30,000 hours to pro bono efforts. 30,000 hours. So if, just think about it. If you were billing at $200 an hour, that would be $6 million worth of time devoted to pro bono efforts in Dallas County. I think that is pretty darn impressive and everybody deserves a huge amount of praise for, for that effort. So let me tell you what we're here for. We're here to honor those who've worked for the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program in the last year. And the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program is, I'm sure you all know, is a partnership between the Dallas Bar Association and Legal Aid of Northwest Texas. And we are fortunate today to have the CEO of Legal Aid of Northwest Texas, Maria Thomas-Jones, here with us. She's a wonderful person and a great leader for legal aid, and uh, we'll hear more from her in just a few minutes. I also want to thank uh, the DBA Executive Director, Alicia Hernandez, who, as so many of you know, really began her legal career with the Dallas Bar through the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program, where she was the managing attorney for a number of years, and so managing attorney, the managing director. So Really uh, happy that Alicia has continued with her passion for pro bono through her new, relatively new job as executive director of the DBA. So uh, those are our special guests here today. Let me talk about the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program staff and everything they do. So our managing director is Michelle Alden. Uh, Whitney Brahini is here with us. I saw her, her face on the Zoom. Miriam Kaporal, Star Cole, Tina Douglas, who's been a paralegal for many years, Charnice Garrett, Holly Griffin, our managing attorney, Carolyn Johnson, Maricela Martin, who put this program together today, Andrew Muskies, Alicia Perkins, Kristen Salas, and Kathy Saldana. So Thank you for all you, that you do for pro bono services in Dallas County on a daily basis. You make all the difference. And some of the things that the DVAP does that y'all are aware of, because you do it every day, training programs that are CLE involved. You have recruiting of volunteers, assisting clients, referring cases to volunteers, mentoring volunteers, and a lot more than that. But all those things added together create a tremendous benefit to the citizens of Dallas County. And when you look at the numbers and uh, Rocio and Vicki will talk about that in a, more, in a moment, there are so many out there who need our help. So our job is never done, it's never finished. We just have to keep plugging away, 
365 with this effort. So with that, uh, let me turn this over to our wonderful two of our co-chairs of the Equal Access to Justice campaign, uh, Rocio and Vicki Blanton. So uh, Rocio, you want to take it away? Absolutely. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Vicki and I are co-chairs of the 2021 Equal Access to Justice Campaign Committee this year. The Equal Access to Justice Campaign is a fundraising campaign benefiting the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program. The campaign is well underway and we have already raised $756,000 for DBAP, which is huge, huge, huge. Um, so I wanted to mention a couple of things about DBAP. Um, as Robert uh, alluded to, DBAP is the most comprehensive provider of pro bono legal services to the poor in Dallas. They accept cases in most areas of most areas of the law, including family, benefits, employment, consumer, mm -hmm. housing, landlord, tenant, probate, wills, tax, and expun expunctions and non-disclosures. At least 14.2% or almost 400,000 of the people living in Dallas qualify for free legal help from DBAP. These people are living very near or in poverty. Once the bills are paid, there is no money left over to hire an attorney. Without our help, hiring an attorney would just be completely unrealistic. Thank you so much, Rocio, for giving that information about DVAP, because this is where DVAP steps in. Nearly every working day of the week, DVAP has some type of pro bono activity in the community. Since the pandemic began, DVAP hosts at least five legal clinics each month and at least four pro se clinics a month. In the last year, DVAP hosted 43 CLE programs for volunteer attorneys and at least 13 recruiting events. The program referred over 1,244 cases to pro bono attorneys last year, and they're, they are always striving to do more. Our campaign is dedicated to increasing our donor base and to seeing that more members of our legal community support this important cause of access to justice. And that's why the campaign is called the Equal Access to Justice. Every donation, whether small or large, is important to this program and to the clients that we serve. And we have another event coming up on November 18th that we hope that you will join us as we kick off the holiday season with a virtual happy hour. And no matter how big, how small, we appreciate every dollar raised. As members of the Dallas Bar Association, DVAP is our pro bono program. Your support for it with your time, legal expertise and donations is imperative. And we thank you for that support. Thank you for helping us spread the word about DVAP's mission and the need to support it with more volunteers and more financial support for this program. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Maria Thomas Jones, the CEO of Legal Aid of Northwest Texas to say a few words about Legal Aid and DVAP. Thank you so much, Vicki and Rocio. I would like to deviate from the program for just one moment to make a few comments about our president, Robert Toby. Landwood is extremely fortunate to have a strong leader continuing the important collaboration between legal aid and the Dallas Bar in delivering legal services to our community. Many of you know Robert and you have worked with him over the years at the Dallas Bar Association. He has worked quietly behind the scenes for the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program for many, many years. Robert has served on the board and as president of the DBA Community Service Fund, which oversees and raises money for DVAP. He is always quick to help promote DVAP through his presidential columns, speeches, and the kind words he sends to our pro bono lawyers. Robert does so much for DVAP and the DBA 
and the greater Dallas community. On behalf of Legal Aid of Northwest Texas, I want to especially recognize Robert for all he has done, and it is my pleasure to present him with the 2020 Pro Bono Appreciation Award. Congratulations and thank you, Robert. Thanks so much, Maria. It's unexpected and, and far too generous. Well, that's, uh, it took my breath away a little bit. It was very unexpected and appreciated. I uh, also want to thank Rocio and Vicki for the wonderful report about our campaign and everything they're doing. And at this point, I think it's time to start handing out some hardware to people who have really done a great job this year. And we're so excited about it. Uh, if we were doing this in person, obviously, I would be able to hand the awards out uh, at our building, but circumstances are what they are this year. So we won't have any acceptance speeches or, or any remarks of that nature. And unfortunately, the rewards will be mailed out after the program's over. But we do ask for everyone who receives an award to stay on the Zoom cast at the end. We'll take a picture uh, that will be... Uh, broadcast around so we can publicize the wonderful things that y'all have done this year. And uh, with that, uh, let me get started. Uh, every month, DVAP sponsors a night court at the courthouse. And night court's great for clients and volunteer attorneys because it helps them deal with their uncontested matters and, and handle them very efficiently and quickly and easily. So, uh, the night court has been a tremendous success, and a lot of people make it a success. This year, our in-person prove-up, obviously, we transitioned to an electronic format uh, because of the COVID. And, but there are three people in particular that we want to recognize who have made this a big success this year. And the first person is Glenda Finkley. She's the recipient of our 2020 Outstanding Court Reporter Award. So please give her a big hand. The next person I wanna recognize is Barbara Esquivel. She's the recipient of the 2020 Outstanding Court Personnel Award. So please give uh, Barbara a big hand. And the third person I want to recognize is Judge Denise Garcia. And she is the recipient of the 2020 uh, Merrill Hartman Judicial Pro Bono Service Award. So please give a big round to Judge Garcia. So turning to our next category, uh, as everyone knows who've worked at the clinics for, for years and years and years, we've always had 12 regular legal clinics every month. Generally held in the evenings, scores of legal professionals volunteer to make them successful. Uh, they interview the clients, provide ex advice, accept cases for representation, and it's just a steady, ongoing effort for that crying need out there in Dallas County. There are five volunteer attorneys that we want to recognize this year who have gone above and beyond the call of duty uh, to support DVAP's legal clinics. The West Dallas uh, Clinic Outstanding Volunteer Attorney Award goes to Soden Abraham, so please give him a hand. Our next award for the Garland Clinic Outstanding Volunteer Attorney Award goes to Bill Milney. So give Bill a big hand. And the award for the South Dallas Clinic Outstanding Volunteer Attorney goes to Jack Manning. So please give Jack a big hand. The East Dallas Clinic Outstanding Volunteer Attorney Award goes to Weston Love. So please give Weston a big hand. And the Veterans Clinic Outstanding Volunteer Attorney Award goes to Dustin Mock. So please give Dustin a big hand for that service. And next one, to highlight three attorneys whose commitment to pro bono is worthy of special mention today. Uh, they repeatedly have stepped up to help v DVAP clients, and they deserve special recognition. So the first is the Outstanding Government Attorney Award, and that goes to Samira El Houdi, 
who regularly goes above and beyond in his pro bono work. So please give Samara a big hand. And I hope I didn't butcher his name too badly. But, uh, the next award is for the Outstanding Small Firm Lawyer Award, and that goes to Tanner Hartnett. And he continues to accept probate cases regularly and with exceptional dedication to the cause. So please give Tanner a big hand. The third I want to recognize is the Outstanding Ad Litem Award, and that goes to Elaine Mosher. And Elaine is one of the few volunteers who's willing to provide much needed ad litem assistance on pro bono cases. So we definitely appreciate her efforts in this regard. So please give Elaine a big hand. Next, we always have a firm, a corporation, or other legal group that has done outstanding work to sponsor the legal clinics over the year. The 2020 Outstanding Clinic Sponsor Award this year goes to Foley and Lardner. So please give that firm a big hand for all they've done this year. We also want to give a big hats off and special applause to all of our small firms, in-house volunteers, newly licensed lawyers who give so generously of their time to help pro bono assistance in Dallas County. This year, we've got several lawyers that we want to honor for their special services to pro bono. And the first one, our first recipient is no stranger to pro bono awards. And this guy, he's just, he needs to be a Hall of Fame. If we create a Hall of Fame, he'll be the first member of the Hall of Fame. And so his commitment started in law school and it hasn't waned since he graduated law school and gone to work in our incubator program that was created last year by our president, Laura Geisler. So the Outstanding Sole Practitioner Award goes to John Van Buskirk. So please give John a big hand. He is, like I said, he's a superstar. He's a charter member of our Hall of Fame. So thanks for all you do, John. You're a wonderful person and one of the best people around. That's all I can say. Uh, next, BVAP couldn't effectively recruit and maintain its volunteer base without the wonderful pro bono coordinators who work at the area agencies, law firms, and corporations. These coordinators inspire and marshal the troops whenever a clinic needs to be staffed or cases need to be handled. And I'm excited to announce that we have two honorees today for this award. And both of them have an impressive pro bono culture in their DNA and they've gone above and beyond to assist DVAP during this very strange and trying year. So con congratulations to Fawaz Baum and Dan Garner of Hunter and Andrews Kurt, who are each gonna receive the 2020 Pro Bono Coordinator of the Year Award. And I was so excited to hear from Fawaz just over the last couple of months at both um, our CSF board meeting and when we talked about it at our DBA board meeting and, they have just killed it this year when we had to go from the physical clinics to the virtual clinic. It was almost seamless, thanks in large part to their efforts. And we have continued to help the citizens of Dallas County thanks to their efforts. And we're so appreciative of everything that they've done in Hunton in Hunton and Williams or Hunton Andrews Kurth now. I got to keep up with the times everything that firm has done for pro bono in 2020. So now we have DVAP's record breakers in firm participation. And these firms are being honored not only for their pro bono hours reported, but also for their participation in DVAP programs and the number of DVAP cases taken and closed during this reporting period of June 1 of last year to May 31 of this year. So the bronze award goes to the under 50 office, Dallas office attorneys at Bracewell. So please give Bracewell a big hand for all they've done this year. We really appreciate it. The 50 to 100 Dallas attorney's office goes to Sidley Austin and thank Sidley Austin for everything they've done this year. Tremendous effort. And the silver award goes to, uh, for under 50 lawyers, Cozen and O'Connor for their great work this year. Please give them a big hand. 
From 50 to 100 lawyers in the silver category, we have Aiken, Gump, Strauss, Hauer, and Feld. So please give Aiken, Gump a big round. From 101 to 149 lawyers, Jackson Walker this year, they've really stepped up. So please give Jackson Walker a big hand for all they've done. And at 150 or more, we have Winstead. So please give Winstead a big hand. What a tremendous effort by all of these firms this year. So now let's move to the gold award. And the under 50 attorneys goes to the firm of Austin and Bird. So please give them a big hand for all they've done this year. For 50 to 100 Dallas office attorneys, please give a big hand to Wild, Gotchel, and Manges for their efforts this year in 2020. In an office from 101 to 149, please give a big hand for Baker Botts and their efforts this year. And then for 150 more lawyers in the office, our big gold winner is Haynes and Boone. So give Haynes and Boone a big round of applause. So today, as is our tradition, we have the awarding of the Ken Fuller Award. Ken was a champion of pro bono and, and again, along with John Van Buskirk, would be a charter member of our Hall of Fame when it comes to pro bono efforts in Dallas County. So we've got the Outstanding Mentor Attorney Award named for Ken Fuller. And this lawyer is one who helps with staffing DVAP estate planning and probate cases in-house. He's always happy to share his expertise with volunteer lawyers who need guidance on their probate and estate planning pro bono cases. So this year, the Ken Fuller Outstanding Mentor Attorney Award goes to Jack Wilburn. So give Jack a big hand. What a tremendous honor. Thanks for all you do. That is a wonderful thing. So we do have one more special award before we announce the Law Firm of the Year and the Lawyer of the Year Awards. So in late 2008, this corporation moved its headquarters to Dallas and promptly got involved in DVAP. They were, they were there from day one. They've remained steadfastly involved with DVAP for the past 12 years. The lawyers have taken on many, many pro bono divorce cases. They've supported the success of DVAP by staffing clinics, including the East Dallas, West Dallas, South Dallas, the Veterans Clinic, and now the virtual clinics this year. So this, this award is named in in honor of Rex Spivey. Rex was, you know, our habitat guy extraordinaire and passed away recently. And we've named this award, the Corporate Pro Bono Award for Rex Spivey. Without further ado, please congratulate AT&T for this award. <laughs> and I see we've got some at and -ers on the on the Zoom cast. So that's wonderful. They need to wave their arms just a little specially hard for this award. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel and Vicki. So now we're ready to, to announce the two biggest awards or the, two, the final two awards. They're not the biggest awards. They're the final two awards. All the awards are big. All are important. And we couldn't do it without everybody's help. So let's talk about the law firm award first. This one, the firm has donated over 1,611 hours of pro bono services in the past year to DVAP clients. That's pretty remarkable. They've been instrumental in supporting pro bono efforts over many years. They volunteered at DVAP's clinics. They've represented pro bono clients. They've provided pro bono help whenever they can. Uh, this year has been obviously our most difficult year going from uh, physical clinics to virtual clinics. Uh, but this, this firm, once the COVID shutdown came down, they contacted DVAP to find out what it is they could do to help the process. And so we've partnered with the firm and created an online application, which allowed DVAP to continue to reach all of the vulnerable folks who they serve throughout the Dallas community. 
Uh, the firm is now providing valuable support for the online application process and the virtual clinics. Uh, since the first virtual clinic in April of this year, the firm has sponsored 10 clinics over a seven month time period. They've put on several virtual cl uh, training sessions for low income small business owners. And our pro bono coordinators of the year all are from the same firm. So perhaps it's not surprising that this year's Law Firm of the Year Award goes to Hunt and Andrews Kurtz. So give them a big hand for all they've done. They've really been superstars. They've really stepped up. They've really made a difference to so many this year. And we appreciate everything they've done. So now we come to our final award, which is the Pro Bono Lawyer of the Year Award. That's pretty exciting. So we have this year, our recipient is a graduate of the University of Pittsburgh who donated personally over 143 hours to DVAP during the reporting year, accepted 29 cases from DVAP, 29 cases in one year. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> He's an outspoken advocate for pro, pro bono legal services. He's taken on and represented numerous DVAP clients. He's volunteered at countless clinics, especially the veterans clinics. And additionally, he encourages colleagues and the wider Dallas Bar community to participate in pro bono efforts. And again, this may be not a real surprise, but our pro bono lawyer of the year award goes to Robert Anderson. So give Robert a huge hand. He's on the call with us. And not only was all this true, but Robert was also a charter member of our inaugural class of the Entrepreneurs and Community Lawyering Project that was started by Laura Geisler last year. Did a whale of a job there along with John Bus Van Buskirk and the other volunteers who, who were in that program. And let me just say that those volunteers in the ECL, as we call it, they contributed 3,000 pro bono hours. This was nine lawyers, 3,000 hours. Do the math. That is a lot of hours pro bono for each lawyer. So hats off to all of them. That's another wonderful service. Um, and again, everybody here has got a ticket straight to heaven at the appropriate time for all they do for those who are much less fortunate than we are and I can do nothing but send thanks, thanks, thanks to everybody on this Zoom call and everybody else who's not on the Zoom call who participates in pro bono efforts because it means so much to so many.